Hey everyone, it's the Hankster again. Well, it's time for another review. Again, chasing the best burger in the Houston area, in my humble opinion. Today we are visiting a new place called Burger Guys. Burger Guys bills itself as two fat guys in hot pursuit of, a, of making a great burger. And we will find out just that. Burger Guys is actually located at 12225 Westheimer Road on the south side of the street in the same little complex as a Shipley's Donuts next to Kane's Chicken Fingers. We're going to go on inside and see if this burger is as good as some of the hype I've heard on Twitter. Folks, I heard about this place on Twitter from a couple of local foodies, and thus far, as I'm waiting for my food, I am highly impressed. A couple things that catch my uh, attention here. Number one, our mission, to make the best possible product using as much local produce as possible and to provide the best dining experience you can provide. Local sourcing is better for the environment, and it's also better for local businesses. That's a winner in my book as an econ professor. Second thing that caught my attention that I like is the soda machine. I'm going to show you all a picture in the video in just a second. If you take a look at the pictures, what you're going to see here is the soda pop they have here is all Imperial Cane Sugar Soda. No, and I repeat, absolutely no corn syrup. Hey everybody, Hankster's back. Now time for the piece de resistance, the burger. First of all, let's zoom in on this thing here. I want you all to see that fried egg, okay? They call this shepherdized over here. I always call this a brunch burger. But anytime I can get a fried egg on my burger, that definitely is going to win points with me. Applewood spoke bacon, wonderful beef here. Take a look at that avocado guacamole spread they got over there in this burger. This burger here is about ready to be eaten here, and I'm having to fight something here. I want to talk a bit about the cattle that are used for the beef for this particular place. A cow sheep, a cow sheep cattle are what they use. It says here in their brochure that Texas a cow sheep cattle are 100% pure and direct descendants of the Mount Oso region's revered a cow sheep herds. They are a national treasure and a protected breed by the government of Japan. Heart brand beef incorporated are expected to eat Japanese traditions and embrace the healthy results of source verified herd management in a natural environment. It even says in their tagline, it's all about the meat. Well, clearly they decided the Akahushi cattle are the best one to go with here for their meat. And so, without further ado, time for the nomage. Nom, 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 nom. Get some runny egg yolk here with this burger here, folks. Food porn time. Mmm. Mmm. That was a little messy, wasn't it, eh? First of all, this burger's full of flavor. That egg yolk was a tad squirty, but beyond that, this is awesome. The bun tastes fresh, not too heavy, not too dry. The beef is flavorful, chewy, not falling apart, but not like hard as a rock either. The ingredients that are on here, the avocado, the egg, the bacon, all the stuff complement each other very well. This is another five-star review, folks, here. Choosing the best burger is going to be kind of tough here. I've already made a decision, folks, that my reviews are going to be uh, uh, put into two different categories, chains and local places, and Burger Guys is definitely local. Of the local places, this one here is right up there with Burger Guys, by far, and Max's Wine Dive as well, though Max's Wine Dive is technically a chain because the location's in Austin, San Antonio. Five stars for Burger Guys, folks. Well, my review's over with. I'm going to enjoy my lunch. The Hankster is out. Well, you're never going to get it. Tell me what's that for? You happy with what you're getting? There's a guy's been awake since the Second World War. Well, you're never going to get it. Tell me what's that for? You happy with what you're getting? There's a guy's been awake since the Second World War. Well, you're never going to get it. Tell me what's that for? You happy with what you're getting? There's a guy's been awake since the Second World War.